Hello, my loves. I'm actually so excited to be back here with you again. We've taken a little break from Mikko and Molly Lives for a few weeks. Uh, that was because I knew I had a massive month in October coming up. Um, and sometimes you just have to be really respectful of your limitations. Apparently, I'm not Wonder Woman. Apparently, I'm not Superwoman. I can't do it all. Hands up who's not a Superwoman. That's I'm definitely not a Superwoman. So I had to be respectful of my limitations. I had to pare back on some things in my life to make sure that I could really get through that month. Um, and we are through it now. Um, and I am back on board. And I'm so, so excited to spend my Saturday night with you. I have had a little bit of a tough time. Um, and I haven't felt like getting dressed up like a girl and wearing these like fabulous clothes that we all love so much and putting makeup on and doing my hair. Um, and I certainly didn't feel that way last night or even this morning, actually. And so it has taken me a little while to join you today. But miraculous, the human brain is incredible and our resilience as human beings is incredible. Um, it will surprise you. And as the days worn on, I've processed things and I've, I've, I've just... I've come out the other side. I wouldn't say a different person. I'd say the same person. Uh, but there were thing, heavy things weighing on me and I just couldn't do everything that I used to be able to do. And here I am tonight. Very excited to spend my Saturday night with you. I am actually going to do something that I don't normally do. So you know that I don't normally like to scroll through your comments as we're having a live because when we repost the video and people watch it that can't get on to a live at this time of night without any notice, um, it's a bit stunted and weird for them to watch um, but I am so excited to be back with you guys and interacting with you guys and I have missed you all so much that I will be I've got my iPad up here oh it's turned itself off but I'll turn it back on um, I've got my iPad up here and I will be going through the comments and I will be interacting with you and responding to any of your questions um, tonight just as a once-off because I'm so excited to be back with you um, so I thought I've been MIA for a while right and I thought maybe you might want to see what's in my wardrobe. I've been doing some like really um, good things for my soul and really taking care of myself or trying to over the last month. Um, and one of those things included a total clear out and edit of my wardrobe. And I actually learned some really amazing things. So we will be sharing those with you on our blog via email over the next few weeks. I did not need as much as what I've got in my wardrobe and I have so many secrets to share with you and you know our motto at Miko Molly is buy well, buy once. We're not here to shove every garment down your throat and just like make you buy everything. We are not here for that at all. We've always been about making you feel incredible, generating a community that makes people feel included and loved and special and supported um, and, and having just like this beautiful cohesive wardrobe that makes a difference to your life and makes you feel like you can achieve the things that you need to achieve. It's really, really important. Um, and people think I'm silly and, you know, like superficial and blah, blah. Um, and of course, clothes don't have that power, but I honestly believe that they do. When I dress up and show up for life, I can achieve whatever it is that I need need to achieve. Uh, it's about a mindset. And I've always used examples of like going for a job interview, dress for the job you want, not the dress you have. When you're having a shitty time, throw something incredible like this on and it changes your life. And I will never back away from that comment. It is so true. I love it so much. It's one of my secrets for life. And I love sharing it all with all of you. So Big, big things I've learned. I do not need all the junk I've got in my wardrobe. There's some really cool pieces that I do need in my wardrobe. I'll be summarizing all of those for you and sending them through. It's way too much to go through tonight. And it's like, I do need to just sit down and like get my head around all of my thoughts. And, and believe it or not, I can't just sprout this stuff to you off the cuff. <laughs> We do generally prepare ourselves for our lives. Um, and so, and that needs some real thought. I want to make sure that I summarize the things I didn't need in my wardrobe, the things I definitely do need in my wardrobe for you guys, because it's really important advice. So I'm not going to get it wrong. So I'm not going to do it tonight. But what I am going to talk you through is what I've got in my wardrobe at the moment, because we have been apart for a few weeks. Um, so I want to show you, I've done my wardrobe clear out. I've really had to think about what I need in my wardrobe, what I need in my life 
and what I don't. Um, and I've stacked my wardrobe with a few key pieces that I'm absolutely in love with, have been utilizing constantly, um, are really special to me and are really appropriate for my life and achieving the things that I want to achieve and feeling the way that I want to feel. So I thought I would walk you through those tonight. So that's a little bit of fun. Let me just get back onto the iPad here because I can see there's a few comments coming through. I'm not sure if you guys are just loving being in each other's company again or whether you've got questions for me. So, oh, shush. <laughs> I'm trying to get the Miko and Molly app back, like the Miko and Molly account. Here we go. It says we're live. There we are. Shush. You guys know that I'm not the most technologically savvy human being who's ever existed. So, oh no, I'll only get them from now. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, so annoying. Anyway, yes, it's just Jazz and you chatting. Good, Elise. <laughs> Thank you for summarizing. I will try and keep this on now so I know what's going on. But let's get into it, shall we? Wardrobe time. I'm so excited. Yes, shock horror. <laughs> Okay, well, the, I'm going to start from the start and I'll run through things really quickly, but I'll spend some time on other things. Believe it or not, I've had this little baby in my wardrobe for quite some time. We've only got a couple left now and they're on sale. They were super cheap anyway. This is the Apero um, Sophia faux leather skirt. It's a little powder blue skirt, zip up front. I wear it all the time. Like, obviously, you can see how amazing it goes with Camilla, um, but I literally wear it with like a white linen shirt, sleeves rolled up, sneakers. And I've even worn, like, I have this really cute pair of little white heels that are, like, white and strappy. Uh, white linen shirt, this bad boy, and those white heels. And off I've gone on nights out with the girls when you just, like, really can't be bothered. And you just want to be casual and comfortable. And this thing has got me through. So on sale, only a couple left. I think they might only be a couple of size larges left. Uh, they are fairly true to size. So I've been loving that one. And that's why. So what I did with my wardrobe edit is, like, all my boring stuff, my work clothes, like my corporate work clothes, big bulky jackets are all on that side of the wardrobe. And what I did here was put all of my key pieces that are for making me feel good. And these are for getting out and doing life. So it's really easy for me now. If I have to go somewhere, if I have an event, I just walk in, I look at this side of the wardrobe and that's it. That's all I have to worry about. It's made getting dressed and getting out of the house so much easier. So I am absolutely loving that. And that is a big hot tip for reorganizing your wardrobe. We all want these wardrobes that are like color coded and so pretty. Not practical. This is practical. This is what I need to get into to get out of the house and have a good time. That's what I need to get into to go to work. And big bulky jackets are over there just in case it's cold. So organized. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, next. Oh, Annapelle leather skirt. So very similar to the other one, but this is real leather and it's in this beautiful, like, stone taupe color, button down front. Have been loving this for quite some time. We only have about three or four of these left as well. Honestly, like obviously I have very um, popular taste. So the things that I buy for myself are very, very popular in the store as well. So a lot of these things are close to sold out or nearly sold out. Then there's a heap of fresh new stock that we've got as well. Actually, no, this is sold really quickly too. But anyway, we'll get onto that. So this bad boy has been like saving my life. Logo tees, white linen shirt, a bit of Camilla, so many things. It's like sneakers, heels, um, trench coat over the top has looked really cool too. I love this skirt, obsessed with it. So that, and it's just beautiful soft leather as well. Really, really high quality, love that brand. And we've got some fresh new ones coming. We've got a black leather skirt coming, not the same as this, um, and some logo tees and stuff coming. So I'm really excited for the fresh new drop. Of course, then I have my Ginger and Smart Collective um, leather jogger pant. These have been huge. Jogger pants have been huge for a couple of years now. They're not going anywhere. They're like the fastest way to show the world that you have the trendiest wardrobe that ever existed. Throw these bad boys on because they're not your basic leather pant. They're a jogger. They're so cool. So comfy. Again, white linen shirt, logo tee, silk cami, like whatever you want to wear these with heels, sneakers, every outfit looks insane. They are such a good investment. Gin and Ginger and Smart do the best. Like their leather is incredible quality. All of their details are incredible quality. It's really well thought out, right down to like their little logo in gold on the back pocket. Like love, love. Love these so much and they have served me so well. So they're definitely must-haves. 
so much so that here's last year's pair in black. So obviously I didn't need to buy the black this year. These are a classic. They're made from great quality leather. They're going to last and last and last. So that saved me heaps of money this year. These are my black ones from last year. These are my tan ones from this year. I adore them. I wear them all the time. So they're definitely in this side of my wardrobe, which is my go-to must-haves, easy throw-ons and get out of the house. And everyone still stops you in the street and goes, where'd you get that from? So like, this is like, these are the, these are the pieces that do that for you. And so easily and brainlessly now. I just love it. So then we've got, oh, actually, this is never, this has never been Miko and Molly stock, but I'm loving this. I bought this from Anna Pelly. Um, their warehouse sale recently actually so we love our supplies and we support them even if it's not stock that we've stocked so I got this like cute little um, leather um, kind of like like a cash style skirt I guess with a drawstring um, in their warehouse sale recently so that was fun I've been doing a little bit of online shopping guys so <laughs> Then, obviously, uh, we have, and I still haven't learned how to say this word, and I really should have because I keep embarrassing myself on um, the internet. But <laughs> obviously, you know I love the Camilla Bell of the Baroque, or Bar Baroque, I'm not sure, um, print. It gives me life, this deep, dark, moody, but floral, so it's flirty and sexy and cool all at the same time. So I have been loving the double um, hem layer skirt. This is just divine. All of the, it's um, like a silk, uh, what do we call it? Like a silk chiffon. Um, and it's got all of the embellishments along each layer. It's just, actually the top layer, not both layers. And it's just stunning. And it's really comfy with the shirt waist. Looks great with a t-shirt, then looks great with other stuff, like more dressy stuff as well. I've had a lot of fun styling this one. And it always makes me feel really, really special when I'm wearing it. So that's in here and definitely an easy go-to. Also in here, and I haven't tied this back up, is my Gothic Goddess um, strapless jumpsuit. I think we've only got one or two of these left on the store, and I wear this all the time. I'll throw it on, and I will tie the, the side leg up um, and wear it with sneakers just casually. So cool. Um, or I'll throw it on with a pair of heels, leather jacket, and, and go out of an evening in it as well. So it does all of things, all of those things really easy and it always makes me feel really special when I'm wearing it. Beautiful elasticated top, so super comfy. Like it's kind of like wearing pajamas, but everyone thinks you look amazing. So that's always cool. <laughs> what else have we got in here? Oh my gothic goddess harem pants. Everyone knows I adore these. I adore a good harem. I love silk. Silk makes me feel so special and I just adore it. Um, and a harem pant is so, so comfy. And I think I'll show you a few other bits and pieces that I've got up here in the little pigeonhole things um, in a minute. I have the matching Gothic Goddess sweater. And when you wear those two together, whether you throw on heels or a pair of sneakers, such a cool outfit. I think you guys have seen me wear that a couple of times. So uh, yes, big, big faves. They're all in here dress them up or dress them down t-shirts and sneakers sweaters and sneakers or like little cami tops and heels or whatever whatever you need like crop tops and heels do you know what would be really good with this the undian collective um knit lara long sleeve knit in black with that tie up waist would look amazing over these so um that might be my next purchase <laughs> This is a lot, like, obviously, like I said, I, we support all of our supplies. This wasn't in the store. Um, I didn't think anyone would buy this other than me. Um, and kind of when you do the buying for a store, you do have to be a little bit careful that you're not pushing your personal taste onto everyone. Um, so every now and again, I buy little things for myself that we don't stock in the store. And with the latest delivery of... Um, Berkeley Street After Dark, I picked up this little number for myself. Just a flirty little A-line, high neck dress. And I have worn this once already and I was loving myself sick. So the, I love the Berkeley Street print. I think my next purchase will probably be the short caftan. And I already have the large square scarf. And yeah, it's just a stunning, classic, but deep and rich animal print. So I'm a big, big fan. 
obviously you know that I love a good twin set so I've still got my Ralph Studios um, Rouge Tiger set with the off shoulder uh, top and that beautiful maxi skirt have I got it around the right way with the button down all the way um, the button down fronts so I love Ralph Studios they are so well known for well, they've got a beautiful ethos you saw my interview with one of the girls from um, Ralph Studios a little while ago one of the owners the collective that have started it um all working mums it's just such a beautiful beautiful brand and they all they um they design their own prints so every collection that comes out has these amazing radical funky prints that these women have come up with themselves and then had produced and produced in and and the girls have worked in fashion forever and a day they know the pieces that work for us, for our bodies, make us feel great. Super easy to buy online. Sizing is really flexible. They actually only do eight, size eight to 14, but their size eight fits six and eight anyway because of the way they design their garments. So they're really smart about making it easy for online shopping. It really is for busy working mums who want to look cute and feel cute, want to buy something, but don't always have the time to run into the stores. So it's a great brand and I've been loving myself sick in this set for a while now. I'm pretty sure we've only got one of the skirts left but they look super great with like a logo tee and sneakers or um, a white linen shirt as well I have worn it to work before um, so I adore this and this will be a classic in my wardrobe for a very long time I still have my Camilla London cooling um, round neck caftan and bomber in um, my essentials side of my wardrobe I love wearing these I love a matching set I love a matching bomber to a caftan. It gives you so many styling options um, and you know that there's a million different ways to wear your caftan. So I'm still loving these so much and I really love the colors as well. Like there's navies, there's black, red, lots of pops of gold. Um, it's quite different to anything else that I've got in my wardrobe. So um, I've been loving these ones. They've really um, saved my bacon on occasion. So they're in there. My love of matching sets is really coming out here. Obviously, this is the SWF um, Skyline set that you've all seen me wearing in recent weeks with that one shoulder crop top that I've just pulled off the hanger. Um, and obviously, this amazing tiered drawstring skirt. Super, super comfy, really flexible sizing. Honestly, you couldn't get your size wrong, which is really cool for online shopping. We love garments that are really hard to get wrong. You want a great fit. Um, and that's why we love all the flexible fitting garments. And this print is just so dreamy and divine. So I've been loving this set. It makes me feel really pretty when I wear it and really dreamy, like I'm living the dream, like I'm chasing down my dreams. It's really inspirational. Um, so I do, I love that set. So that's in there. Now, getting to uh, this week's Camilla drop. Stop it. I needed this so bad. I knew these big pops of colour were coming um, and I'd been hanging out for them. You forget how incredible they are though. We do have our order in like six months in advance. So when they arrived, I was just like, this is what I needed. I needed something to give me a lift, make me feel joyous and bubbly and fun and vivacious again. So I went a little crazy this week. I bought them all. <laughs> because I love them um, and they really are already doing their job. I'm so happy in these garments. They have lifted my spirits at times when I thought nothing could um, and yeah, yeah, they're doing their job. That's all I can say. So obviously I'm wearing the down from the Cosmos um, lace up racer back here and normally I would always like tuck up a racer back tie knots, do crazy things. This one is so incredible. I literally wear it as a maxi and leave the house. And I've never really left the house in just a maxi. I always style it in some sort of crazy way because I don't know, like a maxi isn't enough for me because I'm, you know, quite out there and I have a lot of personality. Um, so like normal things just don't seem enough for me and I have to do something weird with them to make myself feel good in them. But not this dress. This dress is absolutely unreal. And I really love the new update that the racer back has got. It's got a deeper neckline. It's got lace up. And I mean, you can, if you didn't like, I mean, I have no bust, so it's no problem for me at all. But if you were super busty and not comfortable with that, you could just have the straps taken up so that you've got a little bit more coverage there. You've also got the choice of um, 
how tightly you tie up this tie-up detail here. Uh, super, super cute little jewels on the bottom. Oh my God, this dress just gives me life. Um, so I am loving this. I think this lace up detail is the update that the Camilla Racerback has needed for so, 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 so long. I hope they keep it on every print. They might not. So if you love the lace up detail down with coming down from Cosmos is the print for you. And I just absolutely love these colors and big, bright, bold colors are coming through so hard and so strong at the moment for spring, summer. So, um, it's a win on all fronts. And so I went a little bit crazy. I was very, very, very happy with this drop. So I also got myself the hyped up hippie um, pleat skirt. The I knew this skirt was coming and I have been waiting for it for months and months and months. The gradation of colour, I've just got it already um, lined up ready to go with my swimsuit, which I'll wear as a bodysuit. The gradation of colours in this is just incredible. The pleating's incredible. The super flexible um, waistline that's got the a lot of elastic in the back there and then a lot of the beading embellishment or the gemstone embellishment across the front here and cool little play on snake skin as well. So this skirt is going to be hot, 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 hot. Um, you're going to see a lot of people wearing um, multicolour maxi skirts this spring, summer, but this one is the best one by far, hand on heart. I will attest to that in my humble opinion. This is the best. This is the original, the best. It's amazing. And I've just, I'll be pairing that with a little swimsuit as a bodysuit. I'll also be pairing, I am going to do a styling session on this alone. Um, and I've already got so many great things picked out from P Nation tops, knits and jumpers, sweaters to Anna Pelly, um, linen shirts, silk tops, so many different ways to style it, um, at sneakers, heels, sandals, uh, so many different ways to style it. So I can't wait to show you that one, but I had to have this in my wardrobe. It is happiness in fabric form. <laughs> Okay, of course, then I had, uh, like, I love a round neck caftan. You guys know that I have so many of them. You've seen me style them a million different ways. They are so, so versatile and they are my go-to. If I don't have time to work out what I'm going to wear, I always go to a round neck caftan and I often just do the quick undie tuck, flounce it over, drop it off a shoulder, throw sneakers or heels on, grab a jacket and my handbag and run out the door. Um, but I had to have this eclectic in incredible hippie print and I love the fact like so I don't know where you like we've all had a tough 18 months um, with COVID restrictions so much uncertainty in life and I love this collection because it's bringing us back to those 60s, 70s roots, reminding us of those people without a care in the world, having a good time, just enjoying themselves and being kind and beautiful to one another because that's what they felt really mattered, just each other. Not money, not bank accounts, not jobs, not titles, not what our houses look like, having a wonderful time and experiencing the everything that this world had to offer us um, together. And I love that. And unfortunately, I didn't get to live that era. I wasn't alive. So when things like this come out and remind me that people did live like that, and maybe some of us should live like that, I'm all about it. So I bought them to remind me to do that. Uh, so I'm really excited to have this um, this uh, hyped up hippie round neck caftan in my wardrobe. I think her and I are going to have some really beautiful times over the next few years. So I'm very, very excited. And there's lots of really cool details. Look at this beaded um, peace sign on the back here. And I didn't actually realize my mum pointed this out to me, I think yesterday, that in the middle of this tie dye at the back here, it says one love and that's also beaded as well. And I, oh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, of course, this isn't actually up on the website. This only arrived yesterday, so I do need to pop this up tonight. But this is the matching large um, square scarf. And you know that I always buy the large square scarf because I don't like to not have the option of doing my turbans, doing my head wraps, um, tying it into a ponytail if that's what I feel, any of those things. So I always like to have that option. And this is honestly incredible. It goes with both the Cosmos and the hyped up hippie print. It's says on it, um, I did read this with my mum yesterday, 
it says choose love which i think is just such a beautiful message and for the first time ever i'm a big fan of large square scarves i do have a lot of them um but i believe for the first time ever have we ever seen four entire rows of the embellishment all the way around and it tie dye and it's just oh i just love it so so much so yes i had to had had to get one of those for myself and it will be going up on the website tonight Obviously, you know, I adore my Call of the Cathedral um, one shoulder caftan where you have the option to wear it just like this, but there is actually a sleeve. So you can wear it with one sleeve and off the shoulder like that, or you can wear it completely sort of off shoulder just with one strap, one band over here. Um, and you've seen me style that a million different ways. Classic, beautiful leopard print, goes with tan and black leather, goes with just absolutely everything and I adore it. We only have two of these left, I think so it's been very popular the other set and you know I love a matching set love 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 a matching set just lost my footing there sorry I'm not used to wearing heels at the moment so I put these on but I'm like a little bit off balance at the moment which is um quite funny um it's really odd how you lose the feel for heels over a, a short number of weeks but I bought this as soon as it came into the store this is the at first sight and it's so fitting because I was in love with the at first sight I have not seen lilac and florals like this in many garments. So when they do come out, and they just make me feel so happy and so pretty. I especially love the tie shoulder details, which you don't have to wear. You can just leave them down and wear it like a like a little thin strip cami. Um, but I personally love the little tie strap detail um, off each shoulder. The frills, and we all know I adore a double frill maxi skirt adore it like you can't you can't get better than this garment i have four or five of these i'll never give them up i wear them religiously they're so easy to wear like obviously this is a matching set looks incredible but i love wearing this with like a logo tee and sneakers as well or a linen shirt and some lace up leather sandals or like they're just so beautiful and whimsical and feminine and flirty and free um and that's kind of a nice way to be reminded to be to be honest so um love that I also obviously have my Ginger and Smart Horizon trench coat in the Accru. I love, love, love this. It's a beautiful light trench coat, so I'm still getting a lot of wear out of it in spring. Um, and trench, like spring trenches are huge, and so are these beautiful floaty um, fluid fabrics. They're a big, big deal this spring, summer. So this was a brilliant investment on my part. I've got a classic leather jacket. I've got my P Nation full court puffer, which you've seen me wear like religiously. This is for walking Miko in the early hours of the morning or late at night. It uh, keeps that spring chill off and it looks cool with absolutely everything. All my leggings, all my shorts, um, absolutely everything. So I wear it and all my P Nation tracksuits. You'll always see me in weekends in a P Nation tracksuit and this puffer jacket. I love it. I love the fact that it's not the black one. I love that it's different colors and then it's got the pops of black and it's just so cool. There's a classic white blazer in here. There's my Camilla Abingdon Palace puffer jacket, which I have got a lot of wear out of. It is so, so cool. Um, I'm sure you've seen photos of, of me wearing this and I just love it so much. So I'm a big fan of a puffer jacket and spring is all about puffers. We have such radical weather in spring. Um, so it's funny that we do still need these items. I still have my Unreal Fur Madam Grace coat on this side of the wardrobe. Um, if I'm going out of an evening and I just want to wear something quite simple, I'll throw on like a, bl a black t-shirt, ripped black jeans, uh, ankle boots, and this jacket. So it is still really quite handy for me. All white blazers and an old Sassenbide coat. So that is my go-to side of the wardrobe that helps me get out of the house like that there are a few key pieces shoved in these little hidey holes here this is where i keep my shirts my t-shirts um my skirts and play suits there's a few like some of my knitted items as well because i don't like to hang them because they can often stretch out of shape so one of the and this this is all a bit less organized than this uh i did only get to 
the size, <laughs> as you can see from the mess up there. But um, obviously the Belle of the Baroque, um, super oversized, super embellished tee is a massive staple of my wardrobe. I adore it. It makes me feel incredible when I wear it and it literally goes with everything. So this baby is a massive favorite of mine. I love the washed black color as well. It gives it a bit of a vintage feel, a bit of a cool vibe to it. So that is a big staple of my current wardrobe. I've got my... Second skin hope leather leggings in here as well. These are, I couldn't live without these. These are one of the best things I've ever bought. I wear them all the time. They've got the Ponty fabric back, so they're super stretchy. And um, I know a lot of us have had problems with the COVID kilo gain. Um, and so these are kind of stretched with me without putting the pressure on the leather and ripping the leather. Very, very clever, de clever design. And I would highly recommend that you don't buy leather leggings that are leather front, leather back too dangerous you will rip the seams you'll be very upset because they're often very expensive as well so i highly recommend the second skin hope leather legging with the ponty back a uh, bit of stretch to them much more likely to give you the longevity that you deserve when you're investing in a high quality leather piece like these so they're a staple for me too like i said i've got my um gothic goddess sweater in here that i wear with my get rid of that up here um that i wear with my gothic goddess harems and i've also just worn it with like light denim jeans and heels out before and it's quite a cool look and i, I love it it's really comfy as well uh, i do have the new bell of the broke one as well i was having a shitty week a few weeks ago and i just needed to needed to buy myself something pretty but i needed something practical as well so i bought this one um and i did wear that to a party um that week um a friend's party with a pair of jeans and a pair of heels and i just felt really cool and comfy and really nice so it was a really a really good purchase i think um, I do love these Camilla sweaters. I've got heaps of them. Uh, this is the Gates of Glory. Uh, you won't convince me otherwise that this is one of the best ones they've ever made. Uh, the details are incredible. Even look at the... No, look at it. It's amazing. And I love a white sweater. I love a white anything, actually. And I've still got my... Um, I forget what, this, what, the, what the, this print was called. Poetic Anarchy, I think. Um, the leopard print knits with all of the beautiful embellishments as well. Uh, so these serve me really well. And that's why I keep buying these sweaters because I never regret them. They always look incredible, like tucked into my leather skirts, my joggers, my wear worn with light denim, worn with a pair of shorts as we head into spring. Sometimes it's still a little bit too cool. So they make your shorts wearable when the weather might be a bit sketchy. Um, they're just really, really handy. Handy things to have. And I've got my Ginger and Smart Generation sweat as well in the grey with the beautiful gold foil and the cool detail up the side, the zippers. How cool are they? So I love that sweater. And I also have in here my Undyarn Collective. Oh, I already have that knit. Great. I'm going to wear that with the harem pants tomorrow. I was coming up with that outfit in my head and I've already got it. of course I do because it matches my Undyon Collective um oh Loretta tie skirt which is a really iconic um skirt for them and they've brought it out in this really great black and blue uh color and I just love it so much so um yay I love this outfit too as you can tell I do love a matching set my girlfriends are laughing at me because they're like I can't believe she forgot she had an, in, an item in her wardrobe they, they will think that's funny that's not funny uh, and it is the reason that I did this whole wardrobe resort, cleared stuff out, edited it so that I can access the beautiful things that I've got more easily, um, see them more easily and get the worth out of them that I've invested in. And you know that we're all about that at Miko and Molly. So uh, the last thing I've got here is like a million Dylan Kane bags because I love them. But um, one that's giving everyone life at the moment this is, of course, the wax bag. It's one of their best, best sellers. Uh, it literally goes with everything I've got in my wardrobe, whether I'm wearing a Camilla sweater and a pair of light denim jeans and a pair of black heels just as a casual sort of weekend outfit because I can't be bothered or whether I'm trying to dress up something like my gothic goddess jumpsuit. It just literally goes with everything. So I do use this a lot. 
And I think that's about it that I need to show you. This has been so fun. I've really enjoyed this. So let's see whether you had any questions or whether it's just been Jazz and Elise chatting to each other the whole time. <laughs> It is them chatting the whole time, also encouraging each other to buy things. Elise is always telling Jazz, stop buying things you're never going to wear. And then she's just gone, the scarf. <laughs> They're so funny. This is why I don't read the comments on on the lives because it's normally just these two chatting away to each other and there's a million things I need to go through to find an actual question. So I always say after I jump off and I post the video up, just like post your questions below and I'll, I'll, I will answer them. I always stay up for a couple of hours after I've done a live with you guys so that I can answer all of your questions. Um, so if you have any questions about the items that I've got in my wardrobe, why I like them, what I like to wear them with, uh, any questions about the other new stock at the store at the moment that you might want to know, uh, please post them underneath this video when I post it up in a few minutes uh, and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. So that's what I've got in my wardrobe at the moment, guys. It's more organized, it's more easily accessible and these things here are my, my go-tos. These are important to me, these make my life easy, they make sure that every outfit I leave the house in looks incredible. Um, so I can't recommend them highly enough, really. Um, and that, that says a lot, I think, for someone who loves fashion the way that I do and likes to really get dressed up and be really quite zany and out there with what I wear. If I'm saying these items combined or even dressed down with tees and sneakers are it for me that's saying a lot so i hope some of this has been helpful i hope it's been good to see some of these items like kind of in real life rather than in those silly stock photos that we mostly have access to and we do try and take better photos for you like i said i've been a bit mia the last um four to six weeks so i will if there's anything you want to see more of if you want to see a styling session or if you want to see some real photos of them just let me know i'm more than happy to do that for you and i'm really glad to be back on board and back with all of you you are all so special to me um and i never thought i'd get to a point in my life where i had to take a step back um but i i did um and it is really important to honor yourselves guys and honor your needs you don't have to push yourself through life always doing what you expect of yourself or what you think other people expect of you. Most of the time, other people don't expect any of those things of you. And most of the time, other people are way kinder to you than you are to yourself. So I've had to learn some of those lessons over the last four to six weeks and I've had to take a step back from some of the things that I love just to take care of myself. But as you can see, I got some benefit out of it. I cleaned out my wardrobe. It's way less full of junk and complex and it's really making life much better for me. And I'm really, really, really happy with the beautiful pieces that I've got in my wardrobe at the moment. As you can see, it's not a lot. It's not a huge amount of clothing. And I look at it and I go, this could see me through for six months without buying a single piece of clothing again. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do that. But <laughs> if I had to, I could easily get away with what I've got right here. And I'm really happy about that. And it does mean I'll be making more conscious decisions as I move forward. Everything needs to be a able to work into what I've got here and I'll get much better value for money out of the items that I do add to my wardrobe going forward. So I'm really happy and I'm so happy to be back with you guys and it's been so lovely to spend my Saturday night with you. I hope you enjoyed it too um, and I'm really looking forward to spending more time with you over the next few weeks and doing um, lots of styling videos. So anything you want to see, send it through. I'm happy to do them for you. I hope you've enjoyed um, our little impromptu get together on Saturday night. I hope you're having a lovely Saturday night um, and I hope that Sunday brings some things that are really good for your soul a little bit of downtime a little bit of me time take care of you okay bye Mwah. <laughs>